I didn't actually unmute. Yeah, I realized it. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know why all of my overlays got borked again. Um, they somehow always end up, like, ridiculously oversized, and I don't understand it. And then I have to fix it. <laughs> so, I'm going to check and see how it's doing on this screen. Okay, not awful. Okay, that shouldn't take much to fix. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Okay. I should do. Now, like, guys, I'm here. Hey, Jessica, welcome on in. Hello, Deb. Hello, Agent. We're going to make some taco cat. Pushing the buttons can be fun. It sure can. Uh, I had some fun with buttons, and I like to break stream. I had some fun with updating the uh, taco cats. Perfect. We are going to make some taco cats. Um... I'm trying to brain right now and it's not working. Um, I had like a train of thought and then I taco catted and now I can't remember. <laughs> I got real excited about taco cats. Um, so, oh yes, I had some fun with, um, I had some fun. Is that drop not working? Did that, it should be working. Anyways, I'm just, must've missed it. Um, I had some fun playing with the redeems. Um, not so much the redeems, but the um, alerts. There we go. That's the word. Um, with various alerts um, and stuff like that. So I was able to personalize the alerts a little bit more for funsies. Because um, I had it set up with like the basic one from Streamlabs. And so I've updated that now, and it's a little bit more 
fun and individualized to our channel. And I've, um, taco, 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 hot turnip. Um, and I'm working on, I'm just gonna, while well, I'm fidgeting, I'm just gonna put this on because I'm just building a taco um, stand right now. But I will discuss that more in a minute. Um, what we need to talk about a few things because I need some help. I really want to do uh, open up the VIPs via Redeem to more people, but I feel like to do that, it needs to be worth it for everyone. So I added a couple of VIP commands, um, which um, right now, I mean, Agent and um, Empress are the only ones who have VIP access because they've kind of like been here for like ever. But I want to open it up like by redeem for other people and stuff like that. And I think that'll be fun. Um, but I mean, I need some help coming up with some good commands that will make people want to have the other status and not just because they like it here. I mean, that's a good reason to do it. But I also want people to have fun with the commands for it. Um, so we're gonna, as part of our chatting and stuff today, um, we're gonna have a little fun. I think we'll like try to brainstorm some VIP commands and then I'll set up the redeem for people who want to, oh, a jump scare. Okay. Fair enough. I'd have to come up with something really good cause I'm not super jump scary. Hold on. Where's my notebook? All right, okay, so I don't want to use this good marker. <laughs> Why did I grab that? Okay. So we need a jump scare. Uh, don't ask me to brain today, please. I'm not in a good place being here. It's helpful. Well, I'm glad being here is helpful. If you have anything to add, please do. And if not, do what you need to do to feel better. All right. So right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to make like um, a fit of form to make the tacos. This is probably a little bigger than I want, so I need to thin it down. Because what I'm going to need is something that I can put the... Uh, yeah, yeah, I understand. I totally get it. Um, uh, what I need to do is I need to be able to, like, put the tacos over this and then bake them. Um, so that they'll be firm when I'm trying to fill said taco cat with various things. So I'm going to have to, like, build uh, probably a couple of these. Like, two or three of them so I can make a couple of pairs at a time. And I'm just using a bunch of scrap clay. All right. And that seems pretty good. Like that seems pretty taco shaped, right? As a reminder, I think you also have an ideas feedback section in your Discord. Thank you if you're from... <laughs> Forget that I have Discord. <laughs> if folks come up with ideas at any time, you can share them there as well. Ideas don't always happen during stream, but if inspiration hits, there's a place to there. Thank you, Agent. My sweet, sweet, beautiful Agent who helps me with everything. Yeah, Sheeter is one of the VIP commands. Because that one was made pretty much for Empress. <laughs> um... Uh, yes, yeah, so you're going to use sh the sheeter for the shells. Yes, this is the mold I see. Yes, the sheeter. Um, yeah, so that was an excellent suggestion. I very much appreciate that. And thank you for helping me have the brain that I probably should have had on my own. <laughs> you roll. Um, yeah, and then... Um, Yeah, so that's going to be one of the things that we're doing. And I also have another announcement. 
which I was thinking I was going to wait till tomorrow to make, but I'm just going to make it now. It's not a big deal. Um, I am going to be changing my schedule slightly again. Um, I have been experimenting with a Monday night stream. Just by Agent VIP. Agent VIP because he'd be a mod if he wasn't at work while he was here. So I gave him honorary VIP. I gave him VIP status because it's like, he might as well. <laughs> I just, I felt bad. I don't want to ever give somebody um, a mod that is pretty much always working when they're here. Um, because I wouldn't ever want anybody to feel obligated to not do their job when they're here. Um, so, that's the only reason why Agent isn't a mod, so he gets VIP, and same with, same with Empress, like, the only reason I've never asked her to be a mod is because she's working when she's here, so. <laughs> and for the most part, I do pretty good without a mod, but at some point I will probably start figuring out ways to add, or like, the best way to go about um, finding out who wants to help mod and, and, and those kinds of things. But for right now, I mean, I'm doing all right on my own. I really only need mods when I'm doing like a big event, so. All right, those look pretty similar. All right, and then I think I'll make one more of these real quick. My taco molds. But yeah, so I'm going to be changing my schedule. I'm no longer going to be doing Monday nights. I was experimenting with Monday nights during the summer to try to make um, my mom life a little easier. And it worked during the summer, but now that we're back to the school year, it really is um, more stress than it's worth. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go back to... Yeah, sure, absolutely. I will definitely keep that in mind, Deb. Um, I, um, yeah, so I'm going to be, uh, I'm just, Monday nights just don't really work in my life anymore the way that they did. They're more stressed than they're worth for me now. Um, trying to get home from work and get the kid fed before I come down and stream and everything else. It's just, um, not a lot. Yes, um, I did hear about that one. I don't think I'm going to jump on board with this one. Oh, happy birthday to your mom on December 16th. Um, I don't think I'm going to hop on board with this one. I've been thinking about it, but I don't have anything specific that I think would work for it just now um, in terms of what I would stream. And um, I feel like being that close to Christmas, I'm going to be stressed out. Um, and so I kind of don't want to add that one into it, but I am already rattling off ideas in my brain for what I will do when the next one rolls around in like February. So right now I'm kind of like, okay, I'll do like one, then the next, like every other one kind of thing. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to be in like every stream fest, but, uh, I am, I am making plans ease. And if I come up with an idea that I think I could do really quickly and easily for stream fest, um, before signups close, I still, I might, uh, but as of right now, I'm thinking I'm gonna skip this one, and then I'll do the one in, what I'm assuming will probably be February, it's usually every other month that, uh, Danny runs a stream test, so, that's, that's my plan right now, um, but yeah, so I'm probably going to, I'm gonna be switching to doing, um, uh, Monday mornings again, so in, uh, Mondays at 10, just like my normal time, 10 to, um, one Eastern, um, starting next week. Um, I considered going back to my old Tuesday slot cause I used to do Tuesday mornings, but there are too many streamer friends that stream Tuesdays that I don't want to miss or anything. So, um, I've opted to switch to Mondays. There are much fewer of my streamer friends streaming Mondays than there are Tuesdays. Uh, so I'm going to start going back to, uh, Monday mornings. And uh, do that Monday morning. So I'll do Monday, Wednesday, Friday mornings for the foreseeable future. And I think that that's going to help me a lot with my, um, with how I get work accomplished and stuff like that. So, all right. So I've got 
for three taco molds here. And I think, I think these are pretty good, right? Maybe a little thinner. Not so much of a, a V shape on them. Cause I don't want the tacos to be too open. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I know they are helper clay, but you are so pretty with the mashes. <laughs> you know what? Some of them do come out really pretty. Like, I really love how this marbled. And I was thinking the same thing, that this one marbled really pretty when I made it, or when I was just mashing together scrap clay. Scrap clay can sometimes be really, really fun if you have the right colors of scrap clay that mix together. You can definitely do some, some good stuff with scrap clay sometimes. Surprisingly, this bit here was actually stuff that I cleaned off the clay press that had gotten stuck underneath. So, um, it's good to know that that turns out real pretty. All right. All right, I think these are pretty good as forms. So I'm gonna throw these in the clay oven for a little bit so they're firm. I don't even really need to leave these in for very long. Um, I'm gonna put them in for probably about six minutes. Usually I do like a 10 minute bake, um, but because these things are gonna go in the oven again shortly, I'm not so worried about them being under cured and the top of them, like the outer shell of them will be cured enough that I won't need any more really after that. And then, so right now, while though that is baking, we're going to start building some taco shells. Because on the taco shells, we'll have to go through bake so they're also firm. Alright, and the nice thing about this project is I get to use my pastels. I love using chalk pastels. Where is the snow? Oh, where did it go? Hold on. Hold on. I thought it was okay on this screen, but apparently it is not. Do, 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 do. Okay, no, everything should be fine there. How is this? Why is that there? What? What is going on here? Okay, try it now, should work. It's spaceless, the commands are, cause the command is sticker and then it, the list to pull up the list. Okay, good, so working now. All right, so let's blend some yellowy tan to, uh, to make some taco shells. That is a cat butt, and I love it. I love cat butts. Except marshmallows when it's poopy. Because she's a long-haired cat, and <laughs> that happens sometimes. Oh, I need to get up the clay press. Ugh. will help me blend clay faster and easier. Oh, also, look at my new mug! Official dino! I'm 
It makes me happy. Not totally sure. She does have some amazing sir. I'm not sure to merch. I'm not totally sure what I'm getting. <laughs> um, I'm not sure totally what I'm getting, but I asked Hunter like for Christmas. I'm like, yeah, I just I want my friend's merch. He's like, hey, I want to get you some mugs or some t-shirts or stuff like that. I'm like, great. Here's a list of merch from my streamer friend stores. This is what I want. <laughs> I like gave him a list of like links of the items I wanted. So there may be more mugs and t-shirts in my future and I'm very excited. I have an invader hoodie and a couple stickers and a couple mugs. Nice! And a stream for us t-shirt. That's awesome. Yeah, from Danny I have two mugs. I've managed to win two mugs. I won one actually during stream fest. Um, and I, like, I won the stream fest mug actually during stream fest. And then in one of the streams shortly there afterwards, I won the official dino mug. And I'm like, this is, this feels right. And I'm very happy about it. All right. So I feel like this still needs a little bit more yellow to it more tan than I meant it to be. Alright. Let's put some of this really light white into it. Alright. And I'm, I've, uh, I've been getting, I've been really torn lately. So I'm finally after Stream Fest. Um, I have a little bit of money saved up again in my business coffers. And I don't quite have enough for the things that I want, but I'm getting close. And by things, I mean one of the two big things that I want. Um... And every time I get close but don't quite get there, I end up just buying other things and then... Because I need stuff. Like, I want I'm to practice with other... Like, I want to get new supplies to work with. And I end up having almost no money left then. Okay, give me one second. I gotta get the stuff out of the, uh, the molds out of the oven. Forms out of the oven. Turn that off for now. Okay, we have forms. Uh, I'm hoping with the new job I can maybe add a little to the wallet and be able to get some stuff from the friends, uh, for the friends, uh, for, or from the friends. You all have so much wonderful merch. Yeah, you know what? It's true. Like, most of the merch I have is because I've won it on stream. There's been very little that I actually purchased myself. Um, I would have so much, so much merch if I, um, have more. Uh, yes! Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, right? You gotta have a fourth wall store. If, if you stream, you should have a fourth wall store, even if it's only a couple of small things or a couple of stickers, because people will enjoy the heck out of them. Um, <laughs> they absolutely will. Um... Like, I love how it integrates so nicely. I, it is, it's great for the, for the making shenanigans. Like, it takes nothing to have a store, but to have a store that integrates with stream, like Fourth Wall does, is, is really excellent, so. All right. I've got to redo the store altogether one of these days. Like, not my fourth wall store, but I really need to figure out what I'm going to do with vending my actual jewelry online. Etsy doesn't seem like the right option anymore because, like, their fees are just so ridiculous. And 
it's so hard to get any visibility on the platform anymore because it is just so oversaturated with junk um, and not real artists' work that it's it's really hard. And I really wish that there was an actual artist platform available that was easier to work with. I don't know. But, um, we'll get there. Hold on, I need to get my, uh, cutters. Alright. Let's see what size. That's me, I have two stickers and one hat that I bought. Everything else I've won or did mail redeems with points. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, I've, I've done a, a mail redeem or two myself. Um... The, I did buy a bunch of stuff from Brenda just before Camp Chaos because I wanted my Camp Chaos shirt and my School of Chaos shirt and my bucket hat. Like, I was like, that was my big splurge was because I was getting stuff that I wanted for Camp Chaos. Uh, but everything else, pretty much, I've, uh, I've won. Because, I mean, our communities are so generous enough to do that, and that is just amazing. All right, so I'm thinking this size might be a little too small, but this one might be a little too big. So let's see what one works out the best size, because those are the cutters I've got at that size. It's probably going to be this one. All right. Or people have gifted me. <laughs> Yes, yes, exactly, right? I, I have helped a little bit with that. <laughs> All right, let's, let's start with the one that I think is less likely to work and see how it goes. So yeah, I think that that is going to be a little too big there at that size. I mean, that might not be bad. Like I could probably do a necklace or two at the larger size and that would be real cute. But I think for the earrings that we're planning, this is going to have to be the size. I might have to roll it out a little thinner to get it to work well, but yeah, that's definitely the earring size for Taco Cats. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a whole bunch of these and lay them out on top of these and then bake it again. And then that's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's roll this out again. I know it needs to be modular for a reason, but I really hate when this thing falls out on me all the time when I'm using it. All right, all right so I'm going to cut this a little fit smaller because I'm going to have to roll it out a little bit manually with an acrylic roller. Um, just to make it a little thinner. For the bigger ones, that thicker, this thickness will work. Um, but for these thinner ones, I want, uh, for the smaller ones, you'll want a little bit of a little thinner thin thickness. Because otherwise it'll just kind of look a little funny. I also need something to texturize it with, which I'll have to get out in a minute. That's pretty good. You know what? I should probably texturize these first. That's a smart idea. Put texture on them and then cut it. Yeah. That's smarter.
smaller piece. Spin it out some. I'm drained today. I slept, but with everything going on, it's just black. Oh, I feel that. I feel that. I often have days like that. I often have days where I don't sleep great, and that's why I feel bleh. I'm honestly surprised I'm as high energy as I am today, because I did not sleep fabulously last night either. Okay, so what am I going to do to texturize this? Uh, give me a second here. Um. Alright, so we can start with a little bit of fine grit sandpaper. Oh, I've got an idea. I've got sponge. Yes, I like it. Hopefully it does not put too much stuff in there. Lock's not late. You're late. Wait, no. Use that before. Dang it. Um, Lock was over-medicated under... Yeah, that's okay. We get it, Lock. It's fine. You never... You don't have to be on time. <laughs> All right. All right, that seems pretty good. I like it. Worrying how we're going to pay to fix it. Worrying if it won't be able to leave the house for the next week. Yeah, I can understand. That's definitely a tough place to be, right? Like, we understand. All right. Excuse me. All right. All right, there's the beginning of our tacos. All right. So, some of these need to be cleaned up a little bit. I don't think this is the best tool for that. Um... Mary, whenever you are, sloth. <laughs> I have a different chair to put in my mom's second vehicle, but it doesn't fit me anymore, and honestly, I don't know if my mom can even lift it anymore. Fair enough, right? It's definitely hard when you have very specific needs. You There's only very specific things that can work to fix a problem, and they're not always manageable. Oh, uh, oh, I miss... Is it, uh, Miss Channel Savage, welcome on in. I'm assuming you're a friend of our friend Deb. Welcome, welcome. Yes, ma'am. Chelsea, is it okay to call you Chelsea? Sure is. Excellent. I will try to remember that. I'm very bad at remembering uh, proper names, um, but I will try it. I'm sure Deb will remind me, so. <laughs> We're making taco cats today. Thank you. Bestest ever, ever since we were in diaper. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. 
Oh, it's th yeah, it's nice to have you here. I, my brain just, like, did a, like, I forgot what I just said a second ago thing. Whoopsie doodle. So I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to invest in like a bunch of clay cutters and some new jewelry findings, uh, which will honestly cost me like a couple hundred bucks or whether I want to keep trying to save and get a new camera. I found a couple cameras that I'm interested in. I, I haven't quite decided for sure if I'm going to go with like a specialty webcam, which will cost me like $400, or if I want to get like a DSLR, which is like $700. I'm close to being able to afford the webcam, but I don't think it's going to get me quite the picture quality and clarity that I know the DSLR will. but I'm impatient and I don't want to wait. <laughs> and there is definitely no money in the personal budget to get it, so. <laughs> we talk, oh, sorry, I missed the slideshow. Give me one second, I will put that up. Oh, hold on. That is supposed to take off the chat box. It did not. Okay. I will have to remember that. Um, we talk all day, every day. Oh, Kel she keeps you sane most of the time. Oh, that's beautiful. Kiki is making taco cat earrings today. Yes. I wish uh, you were closer. I've got tons of camps. <laughs> She's closer than she <laughs> Alright, so yeah, this is the slideshow of a lot of my previous works, uh, both in polymer clay and in pen and ink. But right now I'm on a big polymer clay kick. Um, also, it looks like we've got an ad about to start. My apologies to anybody who doesn't have, you know, your way around that. <laughs> whatever your way around that is. All right. So now I need to put some ears on these taco cats. I'm going to just lift them from the tile just so that they're a little easier to work with. All right. And do more than one at a time. See what happens. Woohoo! That worked out okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Should have known better than to do that because it got stuff everywhere. Okay. Ba -dum. Kika could probably make those uh, the princess some chicken earrings. She could um, maybe make them clip ons. Um, you know what? I think I might actually have a couple clip on backs on hand even. Some, some time ago. I do, I have clip-on earring backs. 
from that awesome store that I remember telling JC about, Art and Beads. <laughs> I really need to go back there one day. It's been a while. Now that I'm making, now that I'm making jewelry again, I want to, um, <laughs> um, now that I'm actually making jewelry again, I really want to go back to, um, like my regular pilgrimages to Art and Beads in Toronto, because there is no better place that I have found for like getting findings without having to get them online. I order online a lot because it's it's um, convenient, but now that I'm doing this regularly, I'm, I'm gonna have to start making Hunter driving, make Hunter drive me to Toronto every so often. He's gonna hate it, I'm sorry. I can be the go-between if you're really interested in shows since you don't have Discord. Um, you know what? There's a lot of means to to contact me directly as well, uh, depending on what kind of social media you have, Chelsea, because I have um, Facebook, I have Instagram, and, I mean, you could always use Whispers on here as well. So if, um, if that is something of interest to you, there's lots of ways that we can connect to. All right, let's put some ears on these. So let's see. Two, four, okay, that's a fair amount. Okay, I like it. I'm gonna work with that. These ones need to be cleaned up a little here. I didn't realize there was still a overhang over here. <laughs> she's easy to make happy yeah my kid is the same way um i can make just about anything for my kid and they go like they're ecstatic about it especially if i make it on stream because much like every kid this age my kid wants to be a youtuber when they grow up so anything that mommy makes on stream is super special <laughs> <laughs> buy him some food when you go to Toronto he'll be fine well we usually do we usually end up um, going for lunch in the distillery district we have uh, friends that um, own a bakery there um, I interned for them when I was in college they made our wedding cake um, Hunter's been friends with them since university like we've known them for decades um so we usually go there. We usually end up there for lunch. It's called the Sweet Escape Patisserie. It's amazing, amazing stuff if you're in Toronto. Um, but aside, like, so, I mean, we do, we usually end up there, but that also kind of annoys him because it's two separate parts of town. We've got to go to the distillery district, and then we've got to go all the way down to the fashion district, um, or past the fashion district to get that. Hi, Kim, welcome on in. Uh, my oldest wants to be... Uh, wants to be English with an accent when he grows up. Oh, that's adorable. That's adorable. I mean, he can do that. <laughs> uh, you're doing the thing that your kid wants to do. That's freaking adorable. Yeah, I always do the thing my kid wants me to do. I mean, I'm. it's not like my Monday sculpt, this Evie right here above my thumb, isn't literally for my child. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, let's put some ears on our taco cats. Oh. All right. I'm not sure exactly how I want to do this. ads so close together? Did my ads change on me again? I'm gonna have to look into that. I don't know why, because they should not have been running yet. Oh, 
Kiki, I did finally like her fall. Yeah. Please don't expect much to happen on there. So why are the ads always so much? I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, I think they just like to reset them on you periodically. But like, I have mine set at the maximum where, but I just have it so it's three minutes every hour, which works well for me given that I have to, you know, have a bio break like hourly because I still can't get into the... Um, hold on, why is this? Uh, hold on. Okay, just, okay, well, I'll have to live without that for now. Um... They probably did, like, but, so they uh, did an update not that long ago where they changed how ads work, um, and then that changed it, and so I went and changed it back, and it still did, like, I still was able to do the same, like, s proper split that I, I had been doing, um, it just had changed it because they updated the way that their, their revenue sharing can work, um, and it didn't apply to me, but it still changed it. And then I fixed that, and now it looks like they've gone back to it again. And I don't know why. I'll have to look into that after stream. Um, where are my markers? I'll just write that over here. Ads. Ads. <laughs> All right. Ears on cats. Ears on cats. Yes, I like being weird too. Were you the other? Were you the same kind of kid as me who got called weird a lot? And the best way to combat it was to thank people. I did that a lot when I was a kid. I I genuinely appreciate being weird now. But uh, as a kid, I use it as a defense mechanism. When people called me weird, I said thank you. <laughs> I do. And being weird in a world that asks us to be unweird as possible is an act of rebellion. Like I, and again, that's how I think now. Um, for a lot of years, I, I kind of didn't allow myself to think that way. But uh, yeah, bring on the weirdness. That is too thin. Okay. Okay. Well, then I think I'm just going to do like little ones. And then I can texturize them. I can probably texturize them once I attach them. That should be fine. Because I'm just going to use the same texture technique. Smaller. They definitely need to be smaller. go much faster once I get the hang of like the size I'm making them but or how I'm making them I think I'm gonna have to like roll it out and like cut little triangles because otherwise I'm gonna mess it up all right Definitely gonna be like way more than I need, but I'll have uh, backup plans if things don't work out. Look at all the wee little ears. Oh, wait, wait, what did I miss? I missed a bunch. Hold on. 
Right, assuming it's your stream, uh, it, uh scar me, a little bit, right. It's assuming your stream will be a certain length and trying to space out the ads equally into that length, I think. But mine usually work out that way. Um, how many notebooks in use at one time is too many? Asking for science. Um, I usually have at least three at any point in time. I haven't exactly figured out which is normal or not, like which one I should be using. There's got to be a more organized method, but whatever. Uh, remember who you are talking to. People look at me and I'm weird. I'm trying to hard to break the stigma. I let my weird fly free. Yes, let your weird fly free. We need to. We need to. Absolutely. Uh, that's interesting. Yep, yep, yep. Look at all the wee ears. More than you can hold at once is probably too many. <laughs> No such thing, especially if each one serves its own purpose. Yeah, it's true. Like, I'm not sure I've got proper purposes for all the ones that I have here, which is, I think, the main reason why I'm like, is this, like, I'm not sure I'm doing it right. <laughs> like, not that I'm not doing it right, but I'm not organized enough, and I'm going to get myself disorganized at some point. This is probably not the smartest way of doing this. Okay. All right. Let's take this one. Let's cut some triangles for years out of it. That is clearly more than enough to start with. Interesting metric, right? I'm a notebook. <laughs> a good way to live. Yep, notebooks, water, bottles, and purses. Absolutely. If I could have so many purses, I would. Although I think I would probably have more shoes than purses. I would have, like, all of the shoes if I could. Like, all of the shoes. There was a time in my life where... I really dug wearing high heels. I felt good in high heels. Not so much anymore. My hip's a mess. I don't think I could really do heels for any more than, like, one evening out. <laughs> but um, that is one thing I did miss about my office job was getting to dress up with heels. Oh, she really likes purses, does she? <laughs> the purses. Nice. Okay. Okay. blend these together a little bit better. Ooh, our cat has its first ear. It looks cute. I got married in eight inch pink stilettos with rhinestones all over. Oh, that's awesome. Um, uh, see, I would too, but I have like braces so I can only wear like one kind of shoes. Oh, that's understandable. And it's a quintessential dad shoe, right? I, I wear a lot of um, m much more boring shoes these days because of my hip. Um, I should probably wear even more boring shoes because of my hip, um, but I still really enjoy wearing my like, my like boring flat footed shoes. I can't wear like the orthopedic running shoe all the time. I do wear them for work though. 
Um, not so much during the winter. I don't have proper insoles for my winter boots, but my spring shoes do because that's how my uh, hip got screwed up anyways. My uh, spring and summer work shoes. Um, the insole I had in them, it turned out it was turning my foot up a little bit, so I was walking with my essentially slightly bow-legged on one leg and did that off and on for a couple of months for the course of a year, because I mean I wore my winter boots most of the year and it was fine, but for the months that I was doing that, which was probably a total of like five months in like two separate stretches of like like two, two, two and a half months each, my hip is now probably permanently a mess. So never underestimate the importance of shoes. Of good shoes. <laughs> Seriously, anybody curious, look up ba New Balance 608. Oh, I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> Especially your job. You need good shoes for that. Yeah, right? Like, I mean, my job is, is fairly simple for me. Um, because it's only like two hours a day. But, I mean, for some people, absolutely. Which is why it's unfortunate that the, the city took away our shoe allowance. We used to get a $50 a year shoe allowance that they discontinued, which kind of sucks. Not that $50 goes very far, especially for like a good winter boot, but... These are going to the shop? They will. Um, I'm not 100% sure. A lot of the time, stuff that I'm making right now, I have the best of intentions on putting up into a shop. Um, but I'm so undecided about how I want to move forward with that. Um, thank you. Thank you very much for the using the merch command, Deb. Um, but I'm so undecided about how I want to move forward with merch shops. Like, fourth wall is amazing as it is isn't going to work for me as a jewelry store or at the very least um like not while I'm doing um the support pride the problem is is that the support pride is all stuff that can go out by letter mail and it's inexpensive and if I put it because there's two shipping options you can either set it to estimate the weight of something that you're self-fulfilling or do a flat rate. So I can do a flat rate for the support pride stuff because it's going letter mail and I know it's going to be relatively inexpensive each time. It, even if I lose a little bit of money on the odd one, it's fine, it'll work itself out. Um, but I don't want to use um, the measurement by weight for the support pride because like it makes shipping like $13 for something that I'm going to be mailing for probably like three. <laughs> um, and I'm like, that's, that's not good. I'm not doing that. That's not worth it to me at all. Um, and I'm sure it's not worth it to the people who are spending more money on shipping that way than they are for the item that they're buying to support charity, right? Like it's a, it just doesn't work that way for me. Um, but I can't, but stuff like jewelry especially if people are buying more than one item at a time, because the packaging is going to be different, it needs to go by weight. Um, and I just, I can't, uh, you can't have a mixture of both. It's either one shipping setting or another. Um, and it is something that I have specifically requested in Fourth Wall that they give us more shipping options and there are some people out there who are on board with it <laughs> i have gotten some good feedback on that request that i made but um oh good i'm at glad yeah north american shipping is usually pretty quick as long as it doesn't get stuck up at customs and something like that wouldn't it was fairly small um then it's not a problem it's generally only when it gets stuck up at customs that stuff like that takes forever or when it's really close to Christmas. Thank you for reminding me it's 11th <laughs> All right. I am... Yeah, because I would have just kept going for, like, ever. 
<laughs> didn't beat you to it yet. Now that my ads are all wonky or whatever. You know what? The next ad is scheduled to run in about 15 minutes. So I think I'm just going to hold out until that goes. Um, because apparently it's doing like really quick together ads for some donkey reason. Is donkey the right word? I mean, I know it's not, but does it sound like a good enough word? Donkey. All right. Don't mind me guys. As we've established, I'm weird. Um, I had to plug in my lunch crock pot, so I did that and was going to tell you awesome. <laughs> donkey monkey. <gasps> You've got a little, have you read the Winky Wonky Donkey? It's like our favorite book series when our little Hunter was younger. <laughs> little Hunter is almost nine now, so they're into older books, but the Winky Wonky Donkey series? Mm, excellent book for kids. Because <laughs> we have the Winky Wonky Donkey, um... The what, what, whatever's the one with the dad, um, and the greeny granny donkey. I can't remember exactly what all three. Oh no, the the winky wonky donkey, the daughter donkey, and I can't remember exactly what the title of that one. And then there's the greeny granny donkey, and we love them. We love them so much <laughs> as kids' books. Someone gifted us the winky wonky donkey. And, like, we just, like, died for the series, so we ended up getting all the other ones in the series. It was great. Um, though, uh, what was the other one? Skippy John Jones. That one I've never heard of. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Bluey, too. I never got into Bluey, because we don't have network cable. We only have Netflix. It was something that Little Hunter never got into. But yes, the Winky Wonky Donkey was excellent. Oh man, Bluey Taps just right. I'm 35 and I watched it all. And I've heard that from the couple like little clips that I've seen. It can be like really, really good. Like I know that they do some very um, like emotionally mature, not emotionally mature, but stuff about learning how to be a little bit more emotionally mature kind of content. Um, which is kind of really excellent. Um, and I almost wish Little Hunter had gotten involved in that kind of stuff, but it was never one that uh, we picked up on. But I have heard amazing things about it and how it handles certain, like, actual real-world situations well. So, that one's too small. That one is too big. Actually, you know what? This one, no, that's too small. You know what? I, I don't hold any of that kind of thing against people. If you like things that were originally designed for kids, there's nothing wrong with it. One, most of the time those things are written in ways that are intentionally designed to also appeal to the parents. Because that's how you get a kid to watch something is if the parent doesn't hate it. If the parent hates it, the kid is never going to watch it. So most children's television these days is produced in a very intelligent way that will also appeal, at least on some level, to parents. Disney films have been doing this for decades, and modern television is starting to really catch up. Um, so, I mean, that's not surprising at all. Um, and it's not like people watching things that are designed for kids is a new thing at all. I mean... Uh, when I was younger, it was, um, Spongebob was the one that everybody, that was designed for kids, that the adults and teens still loved and watched. Um, like, when I was in my 20s, that was the one that, like, my 20-year-old friends watched Spongebob. Okay, whatever, I don't get it, but whatever. 
Um, and, like, there's, like, the bronies with My Little Pony and stuff like that. Like, there are a lot of shows that have an appeal to adults, even though they're meant for kids. And that's totally great. Um, oh, neither do I. I just, it's just funny. Texting at 2 p.m. when the older two are at school and the baby napping and she's watching Bluey. Fair enough, right? <laughs> I can't say that there are any of my kids' kid shows that I would watch by myself, but there are definitely some that I don't, that I enjoy. Um, and my kid laughs at me for it, because I, um, one of them that I really liked, it was actually Australian television, it's The Investigators, um, and it's essentially a bunch of 11-year-olds running around being detectives, and it's just really clever. I feel like the characters are actually written realistically as kids but still and still acted fairly well for kids um and it's just really good and i very much enjoy it so my kid will get watching something else like right now they're into um iCarly and sam and cat and all like the older like the pre-teen teen nickelodeon shows and um they're just there's nothing wrong with them they're not like there's no content that I'm concerned about in it. They're just badly written. And, and like, Laurel's like, hey, come hang out with me. And I'm like, oh, oh no. <laughs> I mean, I do, clearly. But it's just like, oh, great. I don't want to watch these shows. And they're always like, but mom, you like, I like it when you watch TV with me. I'm like, I know, but some things are harder to watch than others. They can't all be the investigators, <laughs> which is funny. Um, she and the Princess of Power is so good. Um, that's, like, the newer one, right? Um, I watched part of it with Hunter, and it seemed alright, but it, I don't know. I, I struggled to get myself to watch anything new. I am one of those kinds of people that I just watch my three comfort shows over and over and over again. My, my list of comfort shows is getting much smaller all the time because they keep migrating my favorite shows to their own network streaming services. I really miss Shit's Creek on Netflix. Like, a lot. Uh, <laughs> I've got a list of shows I can't wait for my kiddo to be old enough to watch together. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, like, I've started um, watching Sailor Moon with my kiddo because they're just at the, like, the, you know, preteen-ish age or it's starting to embark upon it where I, the content is appropriate, so. But yeah, there's a couple of things. Uh, Hunter is the one who's really all about finding, like, sharing his childhood loves with Little Hunter. Um, Hunter is very sad that uh, he can't get Little Hunter to watch Power Rangers with him. <laughs> Yeah, the newer ones. Yeah, I watched a little bit of it with Hunter, and it was really good. Like, I think that that one is more like it was written for adults, <laughs> more than it was written for the kids. Like, written for adults but appeals to kids kind of thing. Also totally cool. Please write more cartoons for adults. That's amazing. <laughs> it's so wholesome and full of love and friendship and working together. Yes. Taco cats, guys. Aren't they cute? Delicious taco cats. <laughs> no, delicious is appropriate. Totally cool to say delicious. In in my social circle, delicious means anything that is excellent, so I'm okay with that. We used to play a D and D game a couple years back. More than a couple years back, because I'm pretty sure it was. Oh god, it was when I was still with my ex, so we're going back 
probably 12 or 13 years now. We were playing in a D&D &D game and my friend was playing a character that he was, he's literally a robot. So he doesn't really understand a lot of human concepts. And so he would always describe good things as delicious. <laughs> and uh, so, I mean, that just kind of caught on in our social circle, social circle vernacular of just meaning good things in general, they're delicious. <laughs> Uh, don't eat. Yeah, do not eat. Kim, no, you might get it. Yeah, do not eat these particular taco cats. Please feel free to make your own edible taco cats out of real tacos. I am blaming you that my Facebook page seems bound and determined to sell me ducks. I keep getting all the duck ads from the Oriental Trading Company for different rubber duckies. <laughs> um, are you painting on the cat's face or clang? Probably paint. Because it's just going to be like the simple, like I might put the eyes on in clay, but I'll probably paint the nose and mouth. Maybe you'll paint the nose on in clay? I don't know. I'll have to uh, look, take a look once I uh, get the ears on and I'm ready to start that kind of stuff. Because those I would be probably put on after I've started to shape them because it'll just make sense, like, to shape them on the forms. So much patience with these little bits. I'd be throwing things by now. Yeah, it do it does take patience, and I but I love the small detail work, so I don't really mind it. I'm also not doing a ton. Like you'll notice whenever I'm do like some people when they make jewelry like this, they will do like dozens at once. And like I can't I can't do that. <laughs> Phone I tried typing, but no, it it auto cracked to bubble. <laughs> oh jeez. Um, oh, corrected to bubble. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Um, yeah, so I definitely couldn't do like the tons that you would see some artists doing when they're making like a jewelry run. I definitely do smaller runs because I couldn't, I'd get way too bored doing that many at once. But Given that I'm hoping to get into doing more of, um, like, um, festival shows and stuff like that, where, like, having, um, limited stock is actually kind of, like, a good thing. Give me one second, guys.
All right. Uh, sorry, Hunter just leaving for the day. And I am back the just about time for we're about two at minutes for our ad to roll. Um, if that ad, I'm pretty sure I'm at about two minutes. My ad timer seemed to be doing weird things today. So I'm not totally sure, but I think that one's accurate because it's been up the whole time. So, uh, will these cats be all taco or some taco and some cat colors? These are all going to be tacos. Um, however, I had, I mean, I hadn't really planned on it, but that doesn't mean that that couldn't happen in the future. I definitely have lots of plans for other cat themed things because like I'm just borderline obsessed with cats these days. <laughs> but um, I don't know specifically what yet and I need to get some like cutters and things. But like I'm saying, I'm torn between saving up all of my money and um, hopefully getting a camera soon or whether or not I want to postpone getting a new camera and get more jewelry making supplies so I don't know I'm still trying to figure it out I just suddenly had a thought about a possible commission in the new year like one of my idiot cat and the other a pen or something that she likes to have rubbed on her Stupid perfect face. <laughs> That's cute. Aww. I love your cat. Is your cat's name actually Cat? And how did that come to be Cat's name? Actually, don't answer that yet. I am going to take my break. Um, we're going to go for our ad. And uh, I'm going to have belayed 11 -sies. So we'll be right back, friends. I'm going to take a break, and then I want to all hear all about Cat's name and how that cat came to be. Be right back, guys.
hello, I'm back. Um, the Boopicorn, I think, was actually from, like, last week or the week before. It's a fairly new addition that I remember she brought in. It was one of the secret little things that she hid and someone found it. <laughs> a statue or bust of a cat really leaning into that pace, uh, that pen face rub. Okay. All right. I'd love to hear all about cat, Kim, if you're still here. Well, we make taco cats. Still here, excellent. Okay, please, please enlighten us about cat. <laughs> It's my boop and I love it so much. We love boop. We do love boop corn. All right. Don't need too many more years, but let's cut a few up. Let's cut a few more than we need just to make sure we've got what we need. When we first got her, I thought I'd name her Enid, but every time I saw her, I would yell, Kitten! And then she grew, and every time I saw her, I yelled, Little Cat! <laughs> so she has no idea that her name was ever Enid, <laughs> and now she's full grown, and it's just like, Cat! <laughs> That's adorable. How old is Cat? And sometimes kitten. Oh <laughs> well, yeah. Sometimes you gotta name your call your cat kitten because they are still kittens. Just like dogs are forever puppies, cats are forever kittens. <laughs> when they're being rude little assholes. <laughs> Cat is about 11 to 12. Oh, wow. I did not, she does not look that old. She looks very young and spry. Which is clearly a good thing. I mean, she's healthy. <laughs> We have had good luck with the longevity of our cats as well. Um, before we had Liliana and Marshmallow, we had Gulliver and Mo. Um, Mo passed away. He was slightly, he was like a year younger than Gulliver, and he passed away when he was, I want to say, 14 or so, maybe 15. Um, and Gulliver, my gully passed away when he was a ripe old man of 18, so. She acts like a fucking kitten, and it's so fucking much sometimes, yeah. Gully was the same way. Gully was a very needy cat his entire life, like he was a kitten. Um, I'm pretty sure he had brain damage as a kitten. Um, he got carbon monoxide poisoning, we're pretty sure, before we adopted him. Um, because he'd actually been stuck in the rear wheel well of a car that had come from Downsview, which is near Toronto, um, to here in Niagara, and they found him stuck up under the car as a poor little five-month-old kitten under the, in this, like, stuck under the wheel well of this car um, at a local tourist attraction, and they had to call the Humane Society to get him out and chased him across the parking lot, and there was a newspaper article about him, and immediately our family went, that's our new cat. <laughs> and we went out and adopted him. And they did, like, a follow-up article about us in the paper and everything else. And it actually made my mom so mad, because my dad happened to take the phone call um, from the newspaper, and he didn't mention my mom. <laughs> he mentioned me and my sister, but didn't mention my mom and him. Poor mom. So mad at my dad. 
So I still have the article somewhere hidden, somewhere around from when it was in the paper. I should probably look it up in the... It was in the Niagara Falls Review. I could probably find it in their archives somewhere as well, but... Yep. And then we got Mo a year later, because he was also in the paper. Um, and it was, at the time, it wasn't an article specifically about him or anything. It was just, um, that was the stock photo, like the B-roll photo that they'd taken of one of the cats in the kennels when they were talking about how um, our local shelters have a no-kill policy. Any animals that aren't adopted here are sent up to Toronto after a while. I don't think they do this anymore, but they did this at the time. Um, they were sent up to Toronto where they'd have a better likelihood of being adopted because there was like clearly a much larger population. And so Mo was the kitty that was just in that article. And so we then we immediately went and adopted him. We're like, it just makes sense. We adopt cats from the newspaper. <laughs> and that was my, my, my Mo kitty. And his name was Muhammad. Um, Muhammad Ali, to be precise, because we brought him home, and we had um, a small dog at the time. She wasn't, or she was probably a medium-sized dog. She was a part black lab, part English pointer. And so we brought Gulliver home, and he immediately, like, sat up on his hind haunches in front of the dog and, like, started batting at the dog's nose. So we said he looked like he was boxing with the dog. So he became Muhammad Ali. And those were my kitties for many, many years. And then, you know, time went on. And we, uh, we have our Lillian and our Marshmallow now. There are so many animals in shelter, it makes me so sad. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, and there's a lot more in the States than there are in Canada. Um, which is why there are so many rescues that bring a lot of... Uh, specifically dogs up from the the states to be adopted here in Canada as rescues all right we, we attempted to adopt a rescue dog once we named him Mando he was our bounty hunter which you know perfect for a family of hunters but he tried to eat Liliana, so we couldn't keep him. <laughs> All right, now we get to texture these ears. putting a little bit more texture back into the clay as well that got a little bit muted down as we worked with it. accidentally adopted a ginger cat in 2018 they were calling nutmeg but I called him nut and with a low voice and he was an angel I missed that dumb snuggly smelly too lazy to clean his own ass <laughs> oh that sounds like my marshmallow marshmallow because she's a long-haired cat constantly has poop nuggets stuck on her butt that we have to cut out and she fights us so hard but it's like if you just got them off yourself cat That's our marshmallow. Marshmallow is the kind of cat that we've had to remove a bunch of the door stops because we've got like all the boinger ones that are like the spring loaded like door stops. And uh, she just like, she'll sit and she'll like boing, boing, and then you'll just hear like doing, doing. Doing. So we ended up having to take off a lot of our door stops. 
because marshmallow is how do you accidentally adopt a cat it's actually not that hard at all. I mean, look at Danny. Danny had a cat that showed up on her doorstep and just never left. <laughs> I went to buy a treat for Cat, but Nut was just sitting there with love in his eyes. Oh, yes. We have to try very hard not to accidentally adopt cats. We have a friend who was uh, fostering for the local Humane Society. And so she posts, she's a foster fail. She ended up adopting the cat that she was fostering. Um, but so she posts a lot of pictures from the local Humane Society about various cats that are um, in foster care or in shelter care with them. And it's just like, Hunter will just randomly send me <laughs> links. I'm like, no more cats. Um... We feel like our home could probably handle a third cat. Our budget can't right now, but our home could probably handle a third cat. But we've always said that um, we're leaving the third cat slot open in case somebody comes up who, where it's like a life or death situation that this cat needs a home or it's not going to survive, you know, and... Uh, so we're leaving our, our space open in case, in case we need to help somebody who really needs it. My cat allergy is insane, so I can't have any. Yeah, I feel that one. I mean, I take a lot of antihistamines because I am allergic to my cats, too. So I'm not significantly allergic to them, but yeah, I feel that one. Uh, he was fresh from the cat rescue and was still healing and skinny, but I took him like we were siblings in the past. Took him like we were siblings in the past. Oh, that's sweet. Oh. All right, we get to... No, we need to dust these first with chalk pastels. So we use, like, a nice deep, um, like, rusty brown, and it'll give it that, like, seared taco shell look. Alright, so I need... Uh, let's try this one. This might not be dark enough, but let's try this. Hello! Well, welcome on in, Mr. Frightful! Catasaurus Rock, hello! Hello, hello, what's all this shouting? What's all this shouting? Was I shouting, or is that just the raid call? <laughs> in, Mr. Frightful. What were you working on today, my friend? For those of you who don't know, Mr. Frightful is another wonderful polymer clay artist. Makes a lot of really creepy cool stuff. Please, please consider a follow. Oh, I like this. This is like a nice color. It's very subtle. We're making taco cats today. Doing some magnet sculpts from community suggestions. Oh, that's fun. What kind of suggestions did you have? Did you have any, like, really weird and random ones? Finished a little panda. Oh, pandas. That's awesome. I love it. If you've got pics of anything, feel free to drop them in the chat. Um, I don't have links restricted at all. So please feel free, my friend. trying to remember to do uh working on a cavalera skull what's a cavalera skull i don't i don't know that personally A sugar skull. Oh, okay, fair enough. I just don't know proper terms. Now I do. Dia de las Dia los Muertos. Pardon my non-existent Spanish. That's okay. Mine is even less existent. Um, I I live in Canada where French is our second language, so I definitely no problem. Bye, Kim. Thanks for coming to hang out.
Please give Cat a pen scratch for me. <laughs> I might actually need to lighten this a little bit afterwards because I think this got a little too dark with this cut coat tone. I wonder if I can lighten these already darkened ones at all with a lighter tone. Not really. I'm not surprised. Alright, we'll just have to be a little gentler on the dusting. Uh, so I got the base sculpted done and we'll decorate along with- oh, that's nice! That'll be pretty. That's a little better. A little subtler. This one's a little darker around the edges, but that's okay. Yep, yep, I like it. That's good. Cool, I like that. Make the ears look like they're nice and toasted. I've got nothing to share from today yet, but my Insta has Halloween leftovers. Okay, give me one second, we'll take a look. Woohoo! Yes, yes we will. Okay, give me one second here. Alrighty. And let's put that over. Oh, come on. Work with me here. Hold up a second. There we go. And we are gonna... Cool beans. Okay. All right. Mr. Frightful, look. Already falling. Excellent. Oh, look at these guys. Did you actually... Traditional Tumshi lanterns. Are these like actual, are like from turnips? That's so cool. I didn't know that this was a thing, but I'm not surprised by this at all. That's really cool. Neato. Oh, decorations. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Cabinet of Curiosity. Tinker with the lighting. That's neat. I love how you did this. So you like, you make cut, like silhouetted this design. And then put the glasswork in there. That's cool. Or the lighting in there. Oh, did you do all of that by hand? Wow, that's so detailed. Especially when it's staring back at you. Yeah, right, eh? The frame is uh, cardstock painted with metallics. Oh, that's cool. I love your lighting setup, by the way. Uh, uh, those are awesome. Ah, uh, Kiki, are you here a while yet? I don't remember if it's 12 or 1. At 1. We stick around till 1, usually. Couple more pic- Oh, look at the progress photos of the, the mirror as we went. That's cool. Right here. Oh, from the layers of it? That's cool. Oh, what's this? This is neato. Oh, cool! Slideshow of everything. Neato. Wow. Cool beans. That's a cool shot. Pepping the specimen for the cabinet of curiosity. Oh, that is so cool. Like, did you do the full sculpt on that? 
Because that's a lot of teeth, man. <laughs> the mayor is paper cut. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. I'm really obsessed with this guy. I think I remember watching you work on some of these teeth at one point. That's pretty epic. Please, everyone, give Mr. Frightful a follow. Is this your pupper? Puppers? <laughs> Puppers? <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Thank you so much for sharing with us. I'm trying to get really much better at <laughs> sharing <laughs> what our artists are doing. I always forget. So thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, polymer clay head and tail, and the body is latex, so it's poseable. Wow, that's so cool that your mom's pupper is so cute. Hey, Marshmallow. Oh, give it one second. We have a Marshmallow. have a marshmallow sighting. Milo. We are almost ready. To put these guys on the forms that I made to tacoify them. And then we can start filling them with some funsies. And get out some lettuce and some like little tomatoey bits. Oh, Nightbot land for 2.12. I love it, Nightbot. Oh, Nightbot. Does anybody else talk to their Nightbot like it's actually a person? Like, I think of Nightbot more like a pet, and thus I actually talk to We have some taco cats. Now the question is, do I want to try to put the faces on them now or later? Um, hold up a second. I'm just going to pull up a quick reference photo. If I can find it. There it is. Uh, so slow. Hmm. Yeah, I can leave those for later. Okay. All right. Cool beans. All right. So let's try and put these guys on the forms. He's supposedly uh, uh, a cochlear, cochlear, cochlear. 
apparently, I'm sure I'm not saying that right, but apparently he's got at least two poodle grandparents, and I don't know if poos cancel out each other or double up. Oh, they probably <laughs> double up. All right. So we made some forms here. Now we're gonna start putting the cats onto. Oops. Out of the way. All right. Okay, good stuff. All right, they're working out well. some hair on here. Where'd that come from? Just shift these all down a little bit. I'll be able to fit all four of them on here. Make sure I'm folding them evenly. Is this better? Okay. Alright. Alright. Oops. Stop being so difficult, Taco Cats. I mean, what else would you expect cats to be but difficult, right? Maybe I should have made these molds a little, or these forms a little narrower still, but we're going to work with these guys for now and see how it turns out. Alright. Okay, there's one form full of taco cats. Before I bake these, I'll go over them with the um, this texture one more time, just to make sure I haven't lost all of it while I'm working on this. I'm sorry I'm working losing. You seem to be losing frames too right now. I don't know what's going on with that. This one is definitely not going to be able to fit all of them on here. But that's alright. We'll just keep going as many as we can. I'm not going to have enough forms. Alright, I'll probably have to do a second round of baking then. Just because I don't have enough forms made up.
I have five more, and there's no way all five of these guys are fitting on here. I'm going to fit four at most, so. Taco cat, taco cat, I've got to be a taco cat. Hi, Marshmallow, yeah. <laughs> She's like perfectly still, just sitting there watching. <laughs> Overlapping, don't want that. All right, now what do I do about this last one? <laughs> I wonder if maybe I can get one more on here. I'll just kind of have them hang off the edge a little bit. I mean, that should still do enough to make it right. Oh no, that one's stuck. Oh no! can probably get this one mostly on here and get them all in the oven. All right, it's pretty good. All right, so let's go back and do a little bit more texture on these guys. That is not a smart place to try and jump down, Marshmallow. You know better. <laughs> I think I have to fix some of their ears a little bit, but I can do that too. Once I get this part done. All right. Good stuff. All right, those ones are mostly good. Yep.
You are not coming up here right now, Marshmallow. I mean, I know I've got taco cats, but you are not coming up here right now. <laughs> All right. sleeve anymore, but... Hi, Marshall. Yeah? Ah has feet! Ah has feet! Come on. Come on, let's have our mellow moment with Marshmallow. Hello. Oh, and thank you for the... Putting up, I love it. A random sticker sounds good. Okay. Hi. I I need my mouse marshmallow. Okay. 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 What's going on? That was what I did. You're moving the mic. Not the mic. You're moving the. What are you? Hi. Okay. Okay, why is my audio coming? How did you get unmuted? How does that happen randomly? Anyways, why is that even there? What is going on, cat? Oh my god, what are you doing? Okay, hi. Random sticker. All right. Meow. Yeah, there it is. There's our marshmallow. Meow. 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 Who are we going to bring out today? Mm, hello. Uh, hi. Hi. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Yes. Hi. Oh. Can't confirm feeds is there. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's do that. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do. Wait, why? Oh, marshmallow. Like, wait, what's going on? What happened? Oh, right, cat. Um. All right, and there's our angler fish. So just a heads up, all of these guys will be gone next week. Why? No, wait, why is it? That shouldn't. Oh, no, that should still be up. Why is that? And that should still be up. Okay. Why is that? There we go. Okay. So these guys, there should be more than that. I guess so. Okay. So, these guys are what's going to go away when we do our rotation next week. Because I'm trying to do it in, like, four weeks, where I've got them, like, in four weeks. So, it's going to get lonely next week. <laughs> I might have to do some redeems myself for funsies. Right? Okay. Good stuff. All right. All right. We got a sticker up. Now... I love you very much, but I would very much like to go and make some more jewelry. Okay, here, you stay there for a minute. I'm going to turn on the oven. You can hang out there while the oven heats back. How's that? Okay? Not a whole lot I can do until that's in. Why are we losing so many frames this afternoon? We were doing all right, weren't we? Yes, we were. Hi, Marshmallow.
you and Kat would be good friends, wouldn't you? Like this totally like, no, I need you to stop everything and pay attention to me and I won't take no for an answer. Mostly because you know mommy can't say no. Yeah? <laughs> yes, I know. I stopped petting you. You're going to bite me. <laughs> oh, marshmallow. Hi. 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 You are such a sucky baby. Yes, you are. But only for mum. You don't, you don't demand attention from anybody else the same way you demand it from me. Hmm? You are not climbing up there. I see you eyeing up there. That is not a marshmallow space. Yeah, it's up there for a reason. Because if I put it over here where I want to have it, you'd be living on top of it. And I don't want you to get burned on it. Hee hee hee, marshmallow. Marshmallow. Look at them all over the screen. <laughs> Okay, it's time. It's time, Marshmallow. I love you very much. I'm pretty sure that's every cat at one point in time or another. Yeah. Like, when I st started planning, when I got my um, clay oven for the studio, I originally wanted to put it on the shelf over here, and I'm like, there is no way that my cat is not gonna like jump on top of this and if they do that when it's hot like so I had to put it in the less convenient spot to make sure that my cat stay safe right or at least this cat Lily does not seem to go up into the window so much anymore she used to when I we had uh, when I had a different shelf under this there but uh, she hasn't come back even though I've got a different shelf under there now like I know she can get up there she just chooses not to now Oh. Okay, you gotta go now. I need you to go. I gotta make taco cats. You your your glitter is all over my taco cats right now. Like this is embedded in your fur right now. Thankfully it's surviving. But I need you to move. Come on. It's time to go, little one. Okay, geese. Mwah! Oh. Alright. Over. Put this back. <laughs> Does your other cat come and visit you too? Um, she comes to visit sometimes, but mostly in the evening. Um, Liliana is a very skittish cat. Like, she doesn't like big noises. She doesn't like fast movement. Um, she's just, she's just not a big, um, She's not big on stuff like that. And so Little Hunter is a tornado of energy. And um, of course you're going back into the window. Um, Little Hunter is a tornado of energy. So it tends to make Liliana kind of skittish. And so she hides a lot during the day. So even though um, Little Hunter's at school, she's generally just... Oh, well, come on in. She's generally just hiding and chilling out at this time of day. Um, I think getting in her chill time when she can't, well, she can kind of thing. Um, and then she usually just sleeps at the top of the stairs once the little hunter's home, so. She's probably upstairs on the couch in all of her glory, because it's the only time she really gets to hang out on the couch in all of her glory, <laughs> so. Alright, I'm gonna put these guys in the oven now that the oven is warmed up.
All right, I'm only going to put these in for a short while as well because these ones are very... Strewball! Aw, thank you so much! Yo! We will make you a sooty while we wait. Do you know what you would like on your sooty today, my friend? Also, there's one of the uh, commands that I was playing with. I changed up the audio on the um, sub command, so it's of the little sooties from um, Spirited Away making their cute little sooty noises. <laughs> yeah, no problem, Agent. Okay, I'm going to change my finger cuts because I'm getting yellow in the black and black in the yellow. Can I get a paintbrush, please? Uh, let's see. So we have a paintbrush. How do we change up having... I am swatching them. Yes. So I have one with a paintbrush. How do we do this differently? so that we're not duplicating what we've done before. Um, I could do more of like a flat paintbrush because I've got like a traditional looking paintbrush. Um, I will show you because I can. Um, Hold on a second. So, I have this one that already has a paintbrush. Um, we could do a pen. Uh, that's not a problem. Um, but if you w still want a paintbrush, I could do like more of like, um, like a flat bristle, like uh, kind of like a painter's, like a wall painter's paintbrush. Or, or, you know, as it were, like, um, a, wa a watercolor wash brush kind of thing. Um, I do have a paint palette, yes. I don't have one that is a paintbrush and a paint palette. Um, but I do have, like, an oil paint palette and, um, didn't, we did end up making the paint palette one, didn't we? Or did we not end up using that one? So I remember making the paint palette, and they're like, oh yeah, we'll use this later, and I can't remember if I actually used it later or not. Does not look like it, then. Where is the paint palette I made? Are you hiding over here? Aha, you are in here. Does this paint palette speak to you, Struble? <laughs> We can do a pen. I can try and do like a little fountain pen with like the like the nib. Like a calligraphy like nib kind of thing. Oh yes, take that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about easy, but it'll uh it it won't be super hard, that's for sure. Depends on how detailed I try and get into this pen nib. <laughs> Alright. Palette goes away. I accidentally made the paint palette once, and then it never came back up. I thought um, someone was playing with the commands, and that one came up as one that wasn't intended to be used. 
It was just someone playing with the commands, but I had made it anyways because I just kiki brained at that moment and did the dumb thing anyhow. Where is the tool I want? There you are. Hey, Sun Cup, welcome on in. Today we're making taco cats, but we're taking a brief break right now.